All right, well, greetings from the woodlands of Pennsylvania once again. And we are in Lebanon County today, near the town of Mount Gretna. And we are searching for the remnants of the Alcatraz of Pennsylvania. That's what it was nicknamed. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this before we actually get too far into this hike. This is on state game lands number 154 just south of the turnpike. We're actually closer to the town of Lawn and Colebrook than we are to Mount Gretna. Now this was a maximum security state prison that was planned, I think back in, back in the 30s, 1938. It was never finished, so we're not gonna find some huge hulking remains of a prison back here. In fact, we'll find just a few of the foundations that were started. Well, hopefully we'll find those foundations. But in 1939, there was some, a change in politics here in Pennsylvania, and uh, the new administration didn't uh, think the prison should be built, so it wasn't. So as in typical government fashion, a couple million dollars was wasted on starting something. It was never finished. But anyway, I, I never knew about this, but my friend John gave me a little book for Christmas about this place. So it's not too far from home, so I thought it would be a good place to check out. There are some foundations out here and some things to find, so we're going to go looking for those. And this is what the trail looks like. Let me turn you around. I parked back there just off of a, what's that called Lawn Hill Road? Looks like someone else is pulling in there. And this would have been the main entrance into the prison back in the day. Or what's going to be the prison. And now it's just all overgrown again. And as we start to look off trail, you can start to see different uh, mounds and ditches because it's heavily overgrown, but we'll, because I'm seeing some mounds out there, but I'm looking for some initial foundations first. A giant octagon shaped concrete platform, which should be off this way somewhere. <laughs> All right, it's cold again. Last couple of days are really warm. In fact, I was hiking in shirt sleeves the other day, but it is January 17th, so it should be uh, it should be cold out here. All right, keep looking for. I think I see something over in there. Actually, let's walk back in here together. Let's see what's here. I'm pretty sure I see some concrete right there. Some more up here. Okay, oh yeah, this is the octagon shaped thing. It starts right there. All right, yeah, here you can quite see it quite visibly. Oh wow, it's like suspended up off the ground down there. Oh, my shadow. You can see my shadow. Hey. And it goes all the way around. And there is... Okay, here we have... Okay, I've been reading about these. Little holes in the top here. Oh, interesting. And no, I'm not gonna crawl down either, either of those holes today. That one's, they're both a little bit too small for me to fit down there. But it looks like you could crawl down into there, but it looks like there's water down there as well. So that, that octagon foundation goes all the way around. Comes all the way around to over here. This is one of the first things that was built here. You can see the old bolt sticking up out of the top there. I'll show you a few different pictures of this place in that little booklet. There's not much, because they never really actually built anything here. Just some of these foundations initially. But one person thought that this was 
part of the sewage, what was gonna be a sewage treatment plant or sewage disposal area. But then someone else said that this was the base for the water tower. Because if we go straight south from here, there should be the well. We should be able to find where the well was dug. Which we may do that next. But I think there's supposed to be something else right in this area as well to look for. And then uh, another area back that way. So there's some more things to see here. This is all hidden in the woods. And if you come here in the summertime, you won't find these things because everything's going to be so overgrown. But there are little remnants here. And this, this is one of those places where there should be, you know, a little plaque describing what's going on here. Of course, once again, we're on state game land, so history isn't of importance to... The... Anyway, I'll, I'll quit talking about that. All right. All right, let's keep looking around. I right, guess so I had the book open here, and here you can see several pictures of the construction site, digging some ditches. And here's where we are right now. I think that those concrete things you're seeing are what we were seeing right here. I'm actually sitting on one of them. I think that might, square thing might be the, you know, that thing right in the middle with the holes in it. So I think that's what we're seeing right here. This is what the book looks like. Mount Gretna Maximum Security Prism. Prison, a monumental failure. Alright, so I'm going to walk around here just a little bit more before I go down and look for that well. But my notes say that there's a ditch that leads away from here that might lead to another foundation of sorts. So I'm going to check around for that. It's terribly overgrown in here. And that noise, that traffic noise you're hearing is the Pennsylvania Turnpike. There's nothing I can do about that. And if some, somebody told me recently to go hiking somewhere where there's no traffic noise. Well, it's not always possible. Alright. I'm gonna try and see if there's anything else around here, like I said, I'll get back to you. All right, so right down there was our octagon. Like I said, if you come here in the summer, that is all gonna be overgrown. There's a big tree here with some blue stripes on, if you come out here looking for it. But the well is supposed to be down on the other side. Oh, I, I didn't find anything else over there currently, so I might look a little bit later, but here's, yeah, here's a ditch. And this is supposed to lead to the well, according to that book, the guy who wrote that book, which I should probably mention later in this video. But apparently, the well's down there, and there's gonna be a pipe that ran down there, all the way up to this, which would have been the water tower, that octagon base shaped thing. So we're gonna head as best we can down that way through the, through the brush. Yeah, so trying to walk through here is a total mess. This is all that briars, it's called multi-floral rose. It's a horrible stuff to walk through. But oh here's our ditch yet. There's trees down all over there, so I gotta might have to find I don't know an easier way. I don't know if that's possible, but we're gonna keep making our way through here. This is the reality of exploring. Ah, pulling thorns off and stuff. Alright, I'll get back to you once uh, we get closer down there. Yes, yeah, so up there was our trail initially, and because our, our ditch came down, and now here's another ditch that's going east to west. This was mentioned in that book as well. And there's also a field just down there, so all those are mentioned as to where this well is. I think I might see something in that mess, but that is a horribly overgrown mess in there. But we'll try to we'll try to get in there. Like I said, this is the reality of trying to find things sometimes. It's horribly overgrown. 
but I kind of enjoy it at the same time. All right, we'll try to get in there. All right, so this is indeed the location. I don't know if you can see it yet, but there is the top of a, a pipe right in there. I'm not sure how close we'll be able to get. This is terribly overgrown. Yeah, right there. That's the well. And there's another pipe sticking up behind it. I see, I guess it's just a rock back there. But yeah, but this is the well. And this is what would have provided water for that prison, the Alcatraz of Pennsylvania. But uh, that never happened. All right, yeah, this is just ridiculously overgrown. I mean, look, there's thorns everywhere. Wow. All right, well, we found the well. Not terribly impressive, but I wanted to find it. All right, now I'm making my way back up to the uh, main trail that was up here. I'm trying to find a little easier way back up there. So there's really no uh, remains of any structures down by the well, just the top of the pipe that goes down. There's one other area down there that the author of the book said that there were some foundations at. So we're gonna go see if we can find those as well. There may not be a whole lot here, but still an interesting little story about what could have been here. So here is the author of the book, Gibble, P.B. Gibble Jr. It's, you can get this at the Lebanon Historical Society. I'm going to show you where we're going next. If we can find that page. Shows you a map of the area. Oh yeah, here's what the layout of the prison was going to look like. They, what they refer to as three towers. So I think it's where the prisoners, prisoners would be kept. This is the exercise yard. Apparently there are some remnants of this out here yet. So that's what we're going to look for next. Still making my way east along this trail. I just noticed all these little what look like you know iron candy canes. They're not, I mean they're not candy canes, obviously, but it's a whole row of them along here. Almost like some type of a rebar. Like they were getting ready to pour concrete here, you know, back in the day. Not sure what it would have been here. But you know, just let me know what you think of these down in the comments. They go all the way, go all the way up there. Well, I've turned around, I'm kind of making my way back now. I haven't found those other foundations. It is so, I mean, only turning around, it's just so overgrown in there that even without the leaves and the foliage, it's still almost impossible to see in the woods. It's kind of a shame, but let me give you, tell, like, just talk to you a little bit more about this place, like this was the brainchild of uh, Governor George Earl, who was obviously Pennsylvania governor at the time. And he lost the election of, I guess it would have been 1938. He lost that election to the opposing political party. And uh, they didn't really think much of this project, so it pretty much got abandoned. I mean, there are financial reasons too. You know, it was the Great Depression and stuff like that. They say if Governor Earl had started this, you know, three years earlier, you know, this might have, this maximum security prison may have happened. But because he waited and then he lost the election, it just, you know, that's what happens when, uh, you know, different political party takes, takes control, that's what happens. So, a lot of waste of money, actually. I'm kind of looking at this large flat area and in the book the author mentioned that that's where he came to and that he found some stuff off to the right but so I wonder if this is where that what they call the third tower where the exercise area would be of course this would have been surrounded by a wall and inside would have been the exercise area I'm kind of wondering because it's all kind of flat and clear of rocks where as you can see off 
there's off this flat area there's large rocks and stuff so I wonder if that's what this area was cleared for this is the exercise area maybe down in there is some foundations we'll maybe we'll look see down there but it's so I keep saying it but wow that's all that's all thorns and brambles in there of course just down the way here is where that rebar was those candy canes and here is a there's a ditch right here too I'm just kind of thinking out loud to myself so maybe maybe I'll try and get in there a little bit poke around we'll see all right so I have come off trail once again just had to just had to come down and check a little bit Let's see if there's anything down here I believe I'm in the area where the book said there was but it's hard to tell Ouch, ouch. Thorns. Yeah, looking at all this underbrush, my uh, hopes for, for finding anything are kind of dwindling, but since I'm down here, I'm gonna walk around just a little bit more. We'll see. It's just, yeah, I keep saying it, but it is. All right, so sometimes I've learned in the past, a lot of times persistence pays off, so we'll see what happens today. I think in my last video, I was trying to find that uh, slave cemetery, and uh, I did find it eventually, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. So I've come back up out of the woods, and down there is where that rebar was, the candy canes. I'm starting to think that what I'm standing on here is the concrete foundations that the author of the book was talking about, because this... That looks like the color of concrete, and you know, I'm standing on here. This is, I mean, this stuff is it's pretty solid. So, I wonder if this is just like, looks like just roughly poured concrete. Not like it's in a form, but maybe they were, you know, just, yeah, because, oh, because look, right, right here is, oh, yeah, it's, that's what this is, because right here is, looks like a piece of rebar right here. So, this is, I mean, I'm guessing that these are some concrete here. I mean, that's what he's talking about, because right down there is the rebar I was talking about. So I'm guessing... Oh yeah, because here's here's more rebar. So yeah. That's what I'm guessing what this little beam is, or berm, I guess I should call it. That this is what was going to be the edge of the, what they call it, the tower for the exercise yard or, yard, or the wall that would have surrounded it. So. Walking around down there was <laughs> pointless. A little mini adventure, but so yeah. Let me get back down there and give you that perspective again. Yeah, so once again, here's all that rebar poking out of the ground, and there's that berm I was just staying on. I was just up there. So I'm thinking that this is, that some of this is roughly poured concrete. And just over the decades, you know, it has leaves and soil and stuff on top of it, so it does it quite look like concrete anymore? You can let me know what you think, but it is right next to all this, all these rebar things. There is rebar up in there as well. All right, so I guess that answers that question for me. Well, I guess we're gonna continue heading on back to the parking lot. We'll see if we find anything on the way back. Keep our eyes open. So here's one last look at those initial foundations we found. That octagonal ring type structure, which I guess was the base for the, what was gonna be the water tower. It's kind of extended all the way around. And in the, in the middle was that, uh, I guess with a, kind of like a pit. Middle of the tower there. That's right. We did not find a whole lot, but like I said at the beginning of the video, we probably wouldn't find a whole lot out here, just some remnants. But I'm pretty sure I found everything that I planned on. You know, this thing, the well, and what I'm thinking was part of the wall for the that uh, eastern tower, the exercise area. They call them towers, even though they're just walled in areas. All right, so even though there's not much to see, it's still it's still a history. It's still a story, a history. It's still a story. And it's interesting, you know, things had gone differently 
you know, instead of walking through some woods here, I'd be walking through a Mexico, maximum security state prison, but we're not. We're just out here in the, in the woods. All right, I'm going to head on home. Tomorrow, so there's a snow, maybe blizzard-like conditions even. So I'll, well, I'm going to try and get a hike in tomorrow in the snow. We'll see what happens. But anyway, thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching, and you know, get out there and explore what's out there. Thanks for watching.